Hi, this is Daryl Webster here with a few observations about changes in Office 365. I've received my Yammer Office 365 sign in now in my tenant. This means that I can be signed into Office 365 and I can use the app launcher to get to my Yammer network. So let's see how that operates. So I'm signing into portal.office.com. This means that I'll see the applications available to me and I can go through to Yammer. So if I click onto Yammer now, um, and it would be the same as if I clicked onto Yammer within here in my app launcher. I open up another tab. Um, you can see in the address bar, it changes briefly to a persona thing. It, um, it redirects, and now I'm in my Yammer network. I've now also got my Office 365 app application bar along the top, and I can get to other services as well. So that's fine, but there is something that I did notice. Um, now let's have a look at another scenario. While I'm here, I'll go to another network that I frequent, um, that being the Office 365 network, where I get a lot of information and engage in some good conversations about the features and various things. So here I am, I'm now browsing an external network and I've got my nice um, Office 365 bar across the top where I can still get to my other um, applications and uh, services that I use within Office 365. So I've visited a, an external site. And let's go to perhaps my calendar. Now I'm gonna just have a look and see what's on for the day. And that's fine, I'm, I'm there. Right, so I'll go back to Yammer and would you expect to go to your internal network? It opens up another tab and we now have the Office 365 network again. So we still have something going on with Yammer where it remembers within your browser the last network that was active and it will load and serve that up. Uh, a couple of times that I have tested this, it actually has gone through to the, um, the uh, internal network, your own home network, um, even though you might have visited Office 365 network. And that scenario was when I logged into a portal to office.com, I visited sites, and then it went from I went from there to the Yammer network, and um, it went to my internal my internal network. So it, yeah, it is remembering the um, the last uh, network that I've been active in. So just be aware of that, and um, you know you should be able to see from this banner across the top here that the um, network that you are on is um, you know Office three six five network or whatever other banner has been used. Um, you might have seen that I belong to a number of different external networks. So this sort of behavior is quite important to me and I do need to keep an eye on, on what's going on. Now you will have noticed too that as I open up um, another application and then I return to Yammer, that every time I open Yammer from the app launcher, it is opening a fresh tab within your browser. So there is some kind of dependency there too for it to have to open in another tab and also go through and load the network that um, you were last active in. So you will uh, perhaps, if you're switching around using the app launcher or um, going um, via entering a site directly into a um, address bar, let's do that, webstertech.sharepoint.com, and we log on back in. You will, every time you return to Yammer via the app launcher, you'll end up with a another tab. And let's see that just one more time. And away we go, we've been logged back into our last active network. So there's a couple of observations about um, Yammer and Office 365 sign-in. It's nice to see that it's it's come through, um, and it should make a number of other Yammer projects possible for integration with the other Office 365 services. Um, though there are just these couple of things that I wanted to point out to make you aware, and um, you know just to help improve your experience. So thank you very much for watching.